Gladys Lou. I'm about to show you troubling footage from China's state television. Footage of two of its reports praising Lu, this Liberal candidate, now an MP, endorsing her, in effect, even though she was in a contest with another Chinese candidate in Chisholm. Now, this footage doesn't prove much that's dramatic, but it does something significant that the Chinese dictatorship liked Gladys Liu. Like this Hong Kong-born woman, more, I'd say, than it liked Labor's candidate who was born in Taiwan. Well, Taiwan, maybe that explains it. Here is some of the first broadcast on Liu in 2018, in which CCTV, one of the Communist Party's top mouthpieces, is all state-owned, remember, it called Liu's candidacy exciting or inspiring news. I've got two Mandarin speakers to translate this as accurately as they could, to be sure of what I'm about to show. Now, this report then goes on to list Lu's achievements in some detail, of working with community groups, working with the Victorian Premier. And it ended up with saying how Lu wanted Chinese Australians to participate in our politics. Liao Chang'e introduced that from 1850, there have been Chinese immigrants to Australia. Now, Chinese immigrants have become the first majority in Australia. But the spirit of the Chinese is still lacking. 无论是在澳大利亚的经济、政治，还是其他的各个领域的领导层，都缺少华人面孔。廖长娥也呼吁，希望能够有更多的华人勇敢地站出来，让澳大利亚人知道，华人移民不仅关心自己族裔的生活，
I don't think they'd be donating if it didn't. That's how dictatorships work. Let's not be naive here. And let's also not forget that ASIO, we're told, was so suspicious of one of Lou's donors that it told the then Prime Minister Malcolm Turnbull not to go to one of her meet and greets. And, of course, how can I overlook how China has now reacted to my interview with the Lou last week when she falsely claimed on this show that she was not tied to groups under China's propaganda arm and ended up in that interview totally exposed. Well, China's official Global Times newspaper has rushed to her defence. First the media builds her up, now it defends her. Calling me a bully, calling me an anti-China shark, calling me a bloodthirsty anti-China hawk. I'm a shark and a hawk, go figure. Now, to repeat, I do not think Gladys Liu is a Chinese spy. Absolutely not. I don't even think she's a witting agent of influence. I mean, let's not go overboard here. Let's stick to what we know. And I must stress again that Liu insists that she is a loyal Australian who has always put Australia first. And I can't say that she hasn't. But I do wonder again about the... The donation she's got, the one she's boasted about in her application to the Liberal Party to become a candidate. She sure must be pleasing to some people. She's a pleaser, maybe too anxious a pleaser. But when I see just who she pleases, in this case the greatest tyranny in the world, I for one am not pleased at all.